Hey guys, so this week I was going to do a review of the new movie Doolittle starring Robert Downey Jr. But as it doesn't look very good, I have been held up in my house, in my apartment place for a couple of days, uh, working on a Witcher video that I have been trying to get out. I, I can never seem to get like what I truly want filmed to come out or, you know, is the, the video never quite feels right so I keep putting it off. And, I'm trying to get that out to you guys as soon as I can. That and Doolittle doesn't look very good. And I've been having uh, emotional bouts because I am, for whatever reason, suddenly extremely sad about my grandmother passing over six months ago. I'm going to talk about Jojo Rabbit, one of my favorite movies from 2019. I don't care. I'm talking about it because it's my channel and I can do what I want. <laughs> anyway, Jojo Rabbit was directed by Taika Watiki and it follows... Uh, Jojo Vexler, a young um, Nazi child who his dream is to be get into the SS so he can become best friends with Hitler. As he goes about his everyday life, finds a Jew that his mother is hiding in uh, their house, and he deals with that, coming to terms with the fact that Jews are not bad people, they are in fact very nice, and that he has been lied to pretty much his entire life about people who, about, you know, the Aryan race. This movie is so freaking cute. I, I, I loved this movie. When I watched it, uh, my brother and I watched it, we freaking loved it. Uh, this movie, it's just, I loved this movie. It was so much fun. Only Taika Watiki, you know, the guy who directed Ragnarok, could pull off Jojo Rabbit. Only he could have pulled this off and he did a phenomenal freaking job with it. I think one of my favorite moments of the entire movie, Hey, so I am uh, editing my Jojo Rabbit, and I realized I didn't actually mention my favorite part of the movie. When <laughs> Jojo tells Hitler to go fuck himself. Or tells Hitler to fuck off and kicks him through a goddamn window. It is hilarious, and it's the best use of PG-13 F-bomb ever. And so, yeah, I felt like that needed to be in this Jojo telling Hitler to go fuck himself. Uh, now back with the rest of the review. It balanced the humor with the horror of what Nazi Germany was really, really well. It just, it did a phenomenal job. And you know what? Screw it! I'm going to spoil this here. Sam Rockwell's character in the movie, uh, I cannot remember his name right now. Whatever. Sam Rockwell plays a seemingly gay Nazi in a relationship with Theon Greyjoy from Game of Thrones. And... <laughs> He is like my favorite character because he just doesn't give a shit about anything. And like, seriously, early on in the film, the whole reason that Jojo ends up uh, working with the people that he does throughout the film is because early on in the movie, he ends up nearly blowing himself up with a grenade. Basically, he was, uh, Sam Rockwell's character was teaching people how, was teaching the, um, the young SS members that wanted to blah, blah, blah. Um, how to use grenades. Jojo runs up, steals it, with imaginary Hitler running behind him, making the weirdest fucking face that he possibly could, because, you know, why the hell not? And he ends up throwing the grenade, it bounces up a tree, hits him, oh shit, boom, he blows up, and his response is, yeah, don't do that. It's super funny, I love it so much, it is hilarious. It's one of those moments that you're like, what the hell? That's so dumb, but I love it so much. Theon, uh, the actor that plays Theon, I'm never gonna remember his name. He will always be Theon Greyjoy to me. That actor does a great job. His, um, how he plays off of Sam Rockwell's character is really, really well done. The two of them have a great on-screen chemistry together. I'm not a huge fan of Rebel Wilson, just throwing that out there. I thought she did really funny, she was really, really funny in this. Uh, ScarJo's character is really, really well done. And honestly, this movie is just a lot of fun. I highly recommend that you go watch it if you haven't. And for me, the movie was really high. I'm not gonna do my whole role thing. This movie, this video is not really as critical. I haven't seen it in a minute and I don't know, I was gonna talk about it when it came out, I never didn't have the time to film that show, that uh, video, so I just ended up doing it now, um, because, you know, it got nominated for the Oscars, we got it back at the movie theater, and so I decided to talk about it. Um, but, anyway, I loved the movie, I think you guys will too if you go and watch it, it is really funny, 
highly recommend it. And yeah, all right. Sorry about the more rambly nature of this video, guys. Um, I just wanted to get something out this week and I decided to make it JoJo because I love JoJo a lot. Um, it was an extremely good movie. It's somehow a feel good movie, despite the subject matter. I highly recommend that you go watch it if you haven't, but yeah. Again, sorry this video was a little more rambly. I just felt I needed to get something out this week. But hopefully I'll be able to get that Witcher video to you guys soon enough. And I'll hopefully be able to start doing more critical style reviews in the future. But for now, peace out guys.